the area's certified most accurate forecast six years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Well, after heavy snow on Monday, we are now looking at some of the coldest air that we have experienced here across the state of Wisconsin over the past several years. Right now, as we look outside on our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera in Sturgeon Bay, maybe a couple of flurries of light snow showers mixing in with some blowing and drifting snow with some strong winds across the Door Peninsula. Zero right now, that air temperature in Sturgeon Bay. Oshkosh, a little sunshine. We do have a little sunshine and a couple snow showers at times here in Green Bay as well. Two below that current air temperature in Oshkosh. Right now in Green Bay, one degree. It feels like 20 below with a west wind sustained at 20 miles an hour. And these air temperatures will continue to fall very quickly through the evening and overnight. It will feel even colder, probably 30 to 40 below throughout the rest of the evening with this west wind at around 15 to 25 miles an hour with some higher gusts. All right, we are looking at temperatures uh, near zero or a few degrees below zero right along the lake shore. Much the same across the valley, even across the north woods, very cold, single digits below zero. Anago still one of the colder spots at eight below at the moment. Winds, they've been awfully breezy throughout the afternoon. Out of the west, sustained at 15 to 25 miles an hour, and so that is putting our wind chill values anywhere from 17 below in Menominee to 23 below in Iron Mountain, and it currently feels like 26 below in Watoma. And again, these wind chills will continue to fall over the next several hours. Also, with those strong winds and that light fluffy snow continuing to blow around, we have that blowing and drifting issue. There are major issues uh, near Oshkosh going over the uh, Lake Beautimore Bridge at the moment, a major uh, slowdown to uh, southbound on I-41, and we continue this winter weather advisory until 6 o'clock this evening due to that blowing and drifting snow. And then wind chill warnings for the entire area through the noon hour on Thursday. And these wind chill warnings run from North Dakota through the Great Lakes region all the way into West Virginia. We're expecting this uh, cold stretch of weather to continue for about two days before we start to moderate and that cold air then moves off to the north and east. Right now, plenty of clouds further off to the west, but no big snow systems across our area. Again, maybe a couple flurries at most. We're mainly concerned about the blowing and drifting snow for the rest of the evening and those very cold wind chills. So Futurecast is showing better chance for lake effect snow across the south shore of Lake Superior and the eastern shore of Lake Michigan. Otherwise, really quiet across our area. A good amount of sunshine expected on your Wednesday with those cold temperatures. And then things still stay fairly quiet Wednesday night and into the day on Thursday. But once again, Thursday, we could have wind chill values around 35 to 45 degrees below zero. As we head through the evening, wind chills 25 to 35 below, and it gets colder by tomorrow morning, 35 to 50 below across the area. And again, we could see much of the same even into the day on Thursday. So your forecast for tonight calls for dangerous wind chills with those air temperatures in the teens below. Wind chill values 35 to 50 degrees below zero. And then for your Wednesday, very cold once again with high temperatures in the single digits below zero. Your seven-day planner has a high near minus four on Thursday, back to 12 above, maybe a couple flurries early in the day on Friday. And look at this weekend, 36 by Saturday, and a high near 40 with some rain showers possible as we wrap up the weekend. If you want more on your forecast, you can find it on our Facebook page, WFRV Local 5. Bottom line, stay warm. Stay warm. Stay warm. All right, we thank you. We're back right after this. Stick with us.